and uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're glad to have you here. Yeah. Okay, and so moving on to, to weather, yeah. uh, things looking good for this evening. We have the yeah. Bloomfield Parade, which we've been talking it's about. It's kind of like the open season. This is the opening day of Halloween. We have a couple of trick or treaters out there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have the Bloomfield Parade as well. I, I got a quick question for you guys. Uh -oh. um, when it comes to candy, how much candy do you have? And what happens? Do you think you're going to run out? We always buy too much because uh -huh. then we can have the leftovers. Okay, at home. all right. That's what we do. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I got the big bars this year, but I only Whoa, have 60. Fancy. So if you're not one of the first ones to get first there, come first serve. you're Forget getting pretzels. It. You're just <laughs> <gonna lose. laughs> pretzels, what a downgrade. At least it's not a popcorn ball. Yeah. That'd be better than a pretzel, I would think. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's talk about your forecast and what's going on. Yes, uh, we will have trick-or-treaters out there tonight. We'll have a forecast for the Bloomfield Parade in just a little bit. Wanted to start off, though, with the big story today, which is the cool weather that's uh, moving in. It's 37 now. It is dry, mostly cloudy. We do have the winds out of the west at 6 miles an hour. 38 in Beaver Falls. Butler at 36. Denora at 39. Latrobe also at 39 degrees, and you'll notice that we do have some visibility issues in Newcastle, Butler, Pittsburgh. So basically what we're looking at is northwestern parts of Allegheny County, Beaver County, Butler County, Lawrence County, and then north of I-80, where we're seeing some fog setting up at this point. The good news is, though, we're not seeing any fog in elevated areas. That would be a pretty big concern because we could actually see a couple of those communities dipping just below the 32 degree mark. So we'll watch closely for that. We also, as you can see here, frost advisory and freeze warnings just off to the east and to the west. The reason why we don't have a frost advisory today is because we've already passed by a couple of weeks our average frost day. So those folks that need those warnings, you know you're kind of in overtime at this point. Do have, we've seen at least, it looks like really some uh, false returns at this point, but at times it's looked like we've seen a little bit of flurries or a couple of flurries in elevated areas. Dry now, you can see the cloud cover that's still sticking around, helping to keep us up into the mid to upper 30s for those temperatures. Highs today should be back in the 50s after we only hit 45 yesterday for a high. We'll go 52 for your high today. Trick-or-treating obviously starts tonight with Coriopolis and Neville. Both of those communities celebrating tonight. Sunset, by the way, is at 623. Motorists be aware. And also make sure if you are a trick-or-treater that you stand out. Just had someone that tweeted me out and said, hey, you know, a lot of times uh, these trick-or-treat costumes, they kind of blend in. So make sure that you are standing out as well to help those drivers outside. There's your forecast for the Bloomfield Parade. Temperatures should be into the 40s for the parade that kicks off officially at 730. Your outlook today, 52, 68 and dry on Friday. Rain chances for the afternoon and evening on Saturday, and that'll cool us down. And we could have a couple of light snow showers around late Sunday into Monday.